All right, Uncle Sam FM here, and this is, I think, episode nine of my Dynasty Builder save, uh, Journeyman save, um, and this is Rivalry Week. Again, we are playing FC Dallas. It's a midweek game this time. It's actually the decider. Uh, first match at Dallas, we drew 0-0. Uh, zero, zero. Second match at Houston, I won 1-0, and now we're going to Dallas for the decider. Um, and kind of looking at a couple things first. So the schedule, uh, it's, you know, we've not really, it's not been that long since the, um, last video, uh, last video was the all-star game and I've only played three matches. So we went at Real Salt Lake, got a one-to-one -one victory. Then, um, well, I'm sorry, one-to-one -one draw and <laughs> we got a point it was a road so on the road with my second team, so acceptable result. Um, although I feel like we should have won. Martinez was able to play in that game and did score a goal, so that was encouraging. Uh, then we, we came home to play against San Jose and got a nice win there. And um, then had a huge result at Vancouver. So the Vancouver game was um, right before this one. I wanted, I wanted to put my best team on the field against Dallas because I want to win the, the Texas Derby. And so I took my second team up to Vancouver, and we, it was, we struggled early on, but made a couple of adjustments and ended up with a nice win. And so, um, yeah, got all three points on the road with my second team against one of the top teams in the league so um so yeah that's definitely well that was um one of the best results of the season really because if you look at well we'll just go look at the full table here um stages <clears throat> i well vancouver it dropped them down to fourth they still have a couple games in hand um but even if they won both of those they would be i'd be 10 points clear of them so i that that was kind of a well maybe not a strict six pointer uh it was well it, it helps to kind of push them further away um almost we've got nine games to play which is a lot but they're kind of, they're now they're no longer one of the main threats that i have to worry about um sporting kansas city is, and really la la's got a game in hand so let's just say they're at 43 i'm eight points clear of both of those so in the Western Conference, my my situation is pretty strong. Um, in the East, though, when I, and we're you know I want to win the um, want to get the supporter shield, which goes to the team with the best overall. Uh, I I'm one point clear of Toronto, but Atlanta United is has two games in hand, and they're what what are they? Where's the points? They're six points clear. So they could be level with me so um yeah that's you know that's kind of where things stand um which is good i mean we've said all along you know that this is this season uh, it, it was not well we're doing a lot better than what we should be doing when you look at our comparison when we looked at our comparisons before the season i was nowhere near the top in anything so to be leading the division is well, to be leading the conference and the league overall is way above expectations. So we're doing really well. Um, just a couple player notes. Lungfist came to me. He wants a contract. Um, he does have a fairly low salary. So off season, I might offer him a better contract depending on how much it is. Um, might try to get him signed for a few more years and then try and sell him. But I did go ahead and list him. Um, because I could not convince him, well, to, to drop his concern. So when guys start coming to me with contract concerns, I, I transfer list them, which I believe I said that in the last video. Also, I'm dealing with kind of the reality that Sergio Pena is going to be gone. Uh, I'm not going to bring him back next year. It's not that he's bad. He's done really well for me, but he's on loan, and I can't see being able to sign him for, well, be able to extend that loan. Uh, he's done so well. That actually, he's now. You're get. I'm getting the notifications and the news. Um, I guess calling for him to get start getting um, national team appearances, which he does have two caps. 
but you know they wanted to be a regular team member heading into this you know world cup year so uh he'll be gone which means i gotta think about replacing him and i don't want to drop Mar thomas martinez back which as you can see he's now an accomplished center striker and so that's good he uh, he's now fully comfortable in that role and so i don't want to drop him back into the midfield which means i'm gonna have to start looking ahead to next year what how do i replace pena Luis Gill will still be here. Um, his loan goes through next season. But uh, I feel like I could get somebody better. So i um, been scouting, and we'll go to my scouting and look at my shortlist. I've shortlisted some guys who I, well, believe will be able to fill that role. And the, the most promising prospects are... I mean, there's a couple here, but I'm really looking at Leo Senya. First of all, he fits, he fits, well, he ticks all the boxes, right? So he's 21, early 20s. Um, that's kind of the, typically the age I look at. And his price tag is only 1.2 million, probably to do with the fact that Goias is a Serie B team. So I'm going to have to try and get that deal done before next season because it could be that they get promoted. Um, and if they do, that might raise his value. So I need to get that didn't well need to get that deal done um so but he's he's good now there's obviously a couple other guys that i could go for dude is 18 only seven hundred fifty thousand, so that's an option um but again i you know i kind of prefer going after low 20s only because you sort of have a better idea of how well they're going to develop and we're going to look at his attributes here in a moment and then fabricio oya the problem with oya is that he's 6.25 million that's a little high. That's a little more than I'm willing to spend. So, um, but you see Leo Cena ticks the boxes, passing 15, vision 14, decisions are 12, and that, you know, we can even get that higher. So, um, obviously, really good attacking mid, the, almost the ideal number 10 for MLS. So, going to go for him probably immediately after the offseason. Although, you know, Dudu, first of all, his name, that's hilarious, right? But um, also the fact that he's young. See, now, the other, another kind of concern with him is his determination, only a 10, whereas Seniors was like an 18, I think. Yeah, 18 determination. Can't beat that. So Cena is my number one target in going into this offseason, uh, at least foreign target. All right, so let's go to the match, right? Um, well, we'll look at FC Dallas real quick. Nothing new from the last game. They're very good up the middle um <coughs> excuse me um still have diaz uh they've they're, they've been starting coleman at center striker over yuruti who um not sure why because coleman is not even really that good he's only a two star from my scouts so uh, i don't know what the deal is there but that's who i'll be looking at um, but they do still have Grueza, Acosta, a defensive mid, which makes, you know, they do a great job at what they do, covering the back line, um, who is very good. You got Hedges, center back. They've been playing Ziegler over Figueroa, um, which those two guys are kind of interchangeable. But um, Hedges, obviously an above average MLS player. So, you know, FC Dallas, they're not a pushover. Um, this is not going to be an easy game. Um, yeah, so we'll look at their results real quick. Um, they obviously didn't do super well in the International Champions Cup, but they're not supposed to. They did get a remarkable 2-2 uh, draw against Barcelona, of all teams, and then actually won the penalty shootout. So um, that's a good result for them in that game. Um, but they really they hit some really really bad form um even before the international cup um ended with the loss to me but then after the international cup they came back played and lost a couple games and siggy well i'm sorry uh, oscar pareja actually was sacked so they lost he lost his job and they've since brought in siggy schmidt um plays a little different than um oscar pareja a little less uh, it was still the 4-2-3-1 deep, but to, so, you know, the formation is the same. 
but they're not quite as aggressive with the ball. Um, but they're still, they're a very good team, and this is going to be a challenge. So let's play the game. I, this is my first 11, starting my bet, the best 11 that I've got. But the reality is, is that they do not stack up against FC Dallas super well. Um, Dallas does have better players. <clears throat> um, if you play our game, you win. Very capable. And we've got what it takes. So I'm also going to um, I'm going to start defensive, and I'm going to see how things go. And I might let go of the couple of my team instructions. Okay. I always want to ask about other managers. There's not a I don't care option. <laughs> or I would click that one every time. <clears throat> okay. So here we go. Pain in the middle. To Elise out wide. Elise looking to the left. Oh, but Lungfist stopped his run. Lungfist probably pouting because he didn't get his contract. See Dallas already with a shot. So let me think about what we're doing. I had to guess they're attacking me, so I'm going to contain a little bit. See how that goes. Machado wins with a header. It's back to Seren, to Kyoto on the right. He used Boniek a little bit here. Boniek crosses it in. Seren to Martinez. Shot goes wide. He's put it on target. Diaz to Acosta. De La Garza wins the ball to Kyoto to Martinez. Drops it back to Seren to Pena. To Kyoto to Seren. Let's flip it, guys. Ah. See, Elise has got to come in to fill that. I feel like my team might be playing a little too wide, but I don't have it. Ooh. No reason why paint by at least should have been in the middle there. Hmm. See, so they're just pushing everybody forward. I mean, I should. I've got everything set right to deal with that. But you know, sometimes the other team is just better. I'm going to kind of stop worrying so much about possession, playing out of defense. Let's even raise the passing a little bit. <clears throat> Normally possession. Ooh, Kyoto! Finish that, Romel. Finish that. Um, I guess I'm, you know, n not going with my typical style of play here you know worrying less about possession but i really want to win this game and i don't really care what it takes it's one of those i'll live with the draw because it still gets me the can the cannon but you want to win every time you play your rivals right it's clearance by lungfist ah nedjokov come on I mean, that's just kind of a, mm. I mean, good shot. That's just a good shot. All right, at least to Seren, Pena, Lungfist. Oh, with a level, the equalizer immediately, Kyoto. Nice. Nice cross by Lungfist. Kyoto puts it in the back of the net. Watch this. Nice run by Lungvist. All right, now if we can just keep that kind of play going here. I can't give it away like that. All right, Pena wins it back immediately. Come on, let's use the overlap. Boniak made a good run and we didn't get in the ball.
Mm, see, and it's, it's led to this. It led to that goal. Use your overlap. <sighs> yeah, we got to pick that up, though. And Coleman's not even that good of a striker. But see, that shows you how center forwards can get become overvalued. Like, he's not even that good, but he, you know, he has that little monkey mouse finish. You know, he's right at the goal. They're always right there. Let's raise the, the risk level a little bit here. One thing about um, FM that's a little frustrating that I can't recreate in, in real life the way my teams defend. Um, we defend from the front back. Shot my penny is wide. We, um, and it's very, it's, I don't want to call it systematic, but it, I mean, that's what it is. So my left wing, and well, let's get do the, if I can get a freeze in, in during play, well, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, just the unlucky boys, that usually goes well. So if, if the other team's right back, like right there, well, I stink. Well, hopefully we can get to it again. Um, if the other team's right back has the ball, I want my center striker. So let's, I'll just show you right here. So um, looking at Dallas's back line. So if they're right back, what is this? Hollingshead has the ball. Then I want my left wing, Ellis, marking him. I want him pressuring the ball. I want my center striker, who is Martinez, marking hedges. And then I have I want my right wing marking the other center back. I'll leave this guy. I'll leave him open. But I want these guys taken away. But that's never. You can't make it work that way in FM. It's it's a little frustrating because like I feel like that's how it should work. Um, that's how you know pressing works. Um, but what ends up happening is your center striker is having to having to mark. Ooh, come on. Uh, having to mark both center backs, and so he's just running back and forth. Whatever, you know, in real life, my winger is helping there. So, starting to put some things together, but we got to get a finish here. The Garza wins that off Coleman, which is good. <clears throat> All right, now let's see here. Yoto to Pena to Boniek to Seren to Pena through ball to Elise. <clears throat> yeah, start to put some things together. As you can tell we're controlling the run of play now, but we need a second goal. We need a second goal. Martinez to Pena. Pena to Martinez. There it is. Goal. We are level 2 2. Martinez is playing so much better now that he's comfortable in the position. And Pena, yeah, Pena is going to be tough to replace, but that's, there you go. So if we can just hold this. I'm not greedy. I'll take a 2-2 draw. Okay. Uh, Ned, you'll call off the goal scorer getting called over. Hopefully get a yellow. Yep. That really makes me want to go at him. Sometimes I'll do that. If there's a back that I want to try to get out of the game, I'll, <clears throat> I'll direct my attack towards him. But I need Elise to get more of the ball. Elise is better than Kyoto. Okay. Oh, they're bringing Yerudi in, and he is good. I think I want to change anything just yet. That's 10 minutes. I'll start doing some time-wasting subs. Although in FM, I, it, I don't really think that it works that way. Uh, all right, I'm going to pull Kyoto off and bring Minotas on. Pain is down to a 64, but I'm going to leave him in for now because I don't want to... Now I'll pull him off. And I'm bring Wa 
watts in too. We would double sub in stoppage time. Do that thing that people hate where the manager does substitutions during stoppage to try and kill the clock. And all right. So we got away with a 2-2 draw. Obviously we'd rather win. Um, but Dallas is a superior opponent. We're away and the result is good enough to win us the El Capitan Cannon. Uh, so I'll take it. Yeah. Got a big game coming up against Sporting KC, but, um, and which I'm going to have to play my second team against. But, you know, I, I want to win all my trophies. Go to the competition, get the nice little trophy there for winning the Texas Derby. So, good result. Um... Rico Clark praises my spirit. Where is old Rico? In real life, he's, yeah, with Columbus, so he's still there. Um, see, I don't know how to answer these kind of questions. I'm going to say I think they were lucky. Please do this all. Always nice to keep things going. Uh, goal, obviously, goal, the game, goals change games whenever they're scored. That's true. I always say there was a hint of good fortune about that. <laughs> Apparently Inter Miami might want Lungfist. Hey, show me some offers, man. Tell me what you got. What are you willing to give me? And we'll talk. All right, so let's look at where that leaves us in, in MLS. Um, obviously still in first in the conference. Um, we do got a big six-pointer against Kansas City coming up. So need to get a result out of that one um and now atlanta united who well, i've got a game both of those teams could be on pace to um to pass me in in uh, toronto and atlanta in the supporter shield so let's go look at that yeah so yeah it's gonna be um i got we got i got eight games left including the open cup final which well, maybe I'll do another video for that as we go to Colorado to play the Rapids. So, um, so yeah, that'll, we'll just say that's going to be the next video that I try to bring home that cup. But, you know, like, things are going well. Things are going well. If you have any comments, any questions, any suggestions, please post them in the comments. Uh, and this is Uncle Sam FM signing off after winning the Texas Derby.